All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So, solar storm, solar flare, the solar tsunami is coming. Actually, there is a solar tsunami coming, and I didn't even know that was an actual thing until I did some research on it, and yeah, it was coined back in like 1950, a solar tsunami. Now, you guys need to be buying stuff. No, that was a joke. This storm is a G2 storm, all right? This is coming off of a C3 solar flare, chronomass ejection. It's a smaller one. It's not tiny, but it's nothing like the Carrington event. My concerns with this solar tsunami, I'm spitting, is that our magnetosphere is weakened. It's been weakening every year and our poles are shifting. So there is concern. Am I saying run to the store now and go drop every dollar you have? No, I'm not. I'm not saying that at all, guys. Hopefully you guys have been preparing and getting ready. So there were some pop-ups of uh, the storm there. I got the articles for you so you can go read it yourself. Make your own decision on that. This morning I got up. I've only had one cup of coffee before coming over here. Um, I got up and checked all of our Faraday boxes. All right, we build our own Faraday cages. And we've done videos in the past. They're around there somewhere. You can also go to a particular website I enjoy going to, uh, another YouTube channel. It's called EMP Doctor. He's changed his channel name many times because he's just lost in the algorithm. Uh, he's a very educated man. He's been featured on um, Canadian Prepper. Very smart guy. There's a bunch of good smart individuals out there. There's uh, uh, Green Greg. He's out there. Very smart man. Check these guys out. Ask them what they think about it. Me personally, I don't think the storm's all that. But because of the solar tsunami, I have to laugh every time I say it. Because I'm thinking of Cascadia every time I say tsunami. But because of that and our pole shift and our weakened magnetic sphere, I worry about it. Not terrified, not fearful. I'm just worried about something slipping through. Now, this solar grid right here behind us, guys. If we had an event like the Carrington event, it's done for. Just all there is to it. That thing has no protection at all. We have EMP shield for our solar grid on our trailer, which is freaking awesome. We have it for our vehicle, so we can crank up if everything shuts down. Oh man, he's trying to sell us EMP shield, trying to scare us to buy it. No, because if this was a legitimate threat, let's say that this was to wipe out everything, you can run on EMP shield's website and use my link and you wouldn't get it for, you know, a week. It'd be too late. Fortunately, I don't think this storm is as bad as the news media likes to spin certain things. I think we're gonna see some uh, radio disruption might be some satellite communication, internet failure, cell, cell phone issues. That's about it. That's what I think is going to happen. There are some YouTuber channels right now screaming it's the end of the freaking world, guys. No. I will tell you this. You need to start preparing. Don't mean you got to go right now and go buy everything you need. But guys, let this be that warning. A freaking solar tsunami. Let it be a warning to you. You need to start preparing your alternative power sources generators that's the cheapest way to go first a generator three hundred dollars for a decent generator stockpile some fuel we have solar with our solar we need to protect it we have EMP shield um, my buddy Ryan over the Prescott Caliber Club he showed the off trick solar Faraday bags they're not cheap the reason why they're not cheap they work I mean I'm, my sol my solar Faraday cages is a cardboard box with aluminum foil wrapped over it 27 times. That's not really the best protection out there. Is it some protection? Yes. But that's why we went and invested on the high end with, with our EMP shield for our vehicle and for our solar. Now, with this solar here, guys, we've talked about this in the past. If a Carrington event happened, what's, what's going to happen to these panels? Well, odds are, let me go ahead and swing in here and show you. Odds are, we'll be fortunate enough if we needed to scavenge. 
right here this box right here this contains the diodes comes off the panel into two MC4 connectors that's your DC current this box here don't worry about you know what you know forget about that box disconnect here the MC4 don't worry about that that's a conversion that's a micro converter stuff that's gone that's they they've hooked those up on this solar grid for their solar farm deal that's what that is your main concern is this box that comes off your panels is mounted into the panel and you get two wires a positive and negative that has an MC4 connector that's what you're looking for that other box and stuff just remove that crap because you're not going to need it you're going to be hooking this up on a 12 volt system now there's people well i want a 24 volt system well go for a 24 volt system if that's what you want i don't need a 24 volt system my refrigerator is a 110 outlet and it also has a dc current adapter well it's actually a dc refrigerator but it has the ac current adapter build the system as you need to anyway guys I did this video so I've had a lot of emails freaking out about this thing it's not a storm it's not the storm of the century it's not gonna take mankind and throw them into the dark ages I do have concerns that there's gonna be a little bit more stuff going on because of our magnetosphere I worry about that but it's not like I'm fearful about it. I'm concerned. Let's put it that way. I'm concerned. I don't lose any sleep over it. Oh, man. Dude, let me tell you guys. I'm really worried about our magnetosphere. It's, it's dwindling away. What's going to happen, man? What's going to happen? Come on, guys. Just be prepared. Be ready. Let this be a lesson. We see the sun's activity kicking up. Let it be a lesson to start preparing. All right? Get that food put back, get those water filters put back, have a way to catch rainwater, have a way to protect your equipment, have a way to create power. All right, guys, I'm fixing to go get ready for work. I just want to take the time to talk to you guys and calm everybody down. I'm not worried about this storm as far as being a Carrington event. There's a lot of hype that goes around every time the sun flares out something oh guys it's going in relax but you need to be preparing all right guys y'all take care speak to y'all later